All right, we back in it. Let's go. <clears throat> Had to step away for a few minutes. I have no idea what's happened, so this should be fun. Nice play by Frank Theory, loss of five. All right, Tom, who scored the touchdowns? Let me know. Hops under center, third down and seven. He's going to try to throw the football here over the middle, and it is dropped by the sure-handed tight end, Jake Barry. Hops two of six so far. And South Dakota State gets a nice stop. Maybe they can take the lead here before the half. It's all good, Tyler. It's all good, buddy. The game freezing is bound to happen. And a very nice punt all the way to the 27-yard line. We are still having our second game of our doubleheader, so don't worry about that. Jermaine Watson to throw. He's almost picked off. Not a good pass. It's going to bring up second down and 10. And just like the game before that froze, I don't know why Tate Redding is in here at quarterback so much. But he's going to try to throw the ball here. Deep shot down the field, and it is intercepted. Woods with the pick. First of the game for him. <laughs> I said hops. Justin hops. Don't you worry, Tyler. Ken Tops coming back. Mississippi Mayhem. Elite Football League. I also don't know why this camera angle is here. Hops off his back foot and deflected away by Reinhardt or Wendowski. But we're going to try to fix this camera angle again at halftime. Well, this is the camera angle that we'll be having for the EFL because there's no way to switch it to a different camera angle. But I'm okay with it. Hops to throw, hit as he throws. And that pass is way off the mark. That'll bring up third down and 10 for the Kedets. Kedets 3 of 5 today on third downs. Five wide receivers set for hops. And quick pass over the middle. That is incomplete. And he wouldn't have even come close to the first down anyway. So a nice stop by the Jackrabbit defense. Shaw on for his 14th punt of the season. And Jamar Hicks, nice return, breaks a tackle up to the 37-yard line. And Tate Redding <laughs> still in there at quarterback. I don't know what is going on right now. Four wide receivers set. The Redding brothers next to each other in the shotgun. And Tate will try to throw again. And he finds Jack Marks for the four-yard reception. Mark Jackson going to be coming in here at quarterback now. Chad Collins to his right. Jackson to throw. Quick pass. Incomplete. That brings up third down and six. Two timeouts left for both squads. 
Still plenty of time for either team to get some points before the half. Mason Smith at halfback next to Jackson. They'll hand it off to him on a draw, and he gets close to the sticks. And they give it to him, the ninth first down for the Jackrabbits so far in this half. Watson under center, and that is Chad Filler, false start on the left tackle. Brings up first down and 15 now. And Tate Redding is back in at quarterback. This is so bizarre how they're just playing every single quarterback on the roster. And they'll throw it. Right side dropped by Jack Marks. He probably could have ran for another 20 yards. That'll bring up second down and 15 now. Jermaine Watson back in at quarterback. He is the starter. 5 wide receivers and that pass should have been picked off Mike Adams bobbled it a couple times there it's now 3rd and 15 4 wide receivers now Watson is going to be sacked Gunn gets his first sack of the season. BMI calls a timeout with 39 seconds left in the half. George on for the punt, true freshman punter. Been pretty good this season. High snap for George. Nice punt. Way downfield. Inside the 10. That's Bryson Shields. And he's going to get it up past the 20 yard line. Let's see what Hobson's offense can do with 30 seconds left on the clock. Ground game here, and that only picks up maybe two or three yards. That is Ladarius Johnson, the five star freshman halfback. That might have been the final play of the first half. And it was 21-17, number 8 VMI on top of the 7-3 South Dakota State Jackrabbits. And let's see if we can try to fix this camera angle real quick. Pretty solid game so far. Key Dets, the big favorites in the Discord, pick them. 19 votes to 5, I believe. Hicks on the return, up past the 20-yard line. Jamar Hicks in the open field. Look out! Jamar Hicks taking down at the 41-yard line. Huge return for the Jackrabbits. And a great way to start off the second half for South Dakota State. Set this controller down. Tate Redding back in there at quarterback again. Quick pass left side. Jacob Coleman picks up two yards on the left side. See a true freshman receiver. Now Lamar Jackson will take a snap, and we could not fix the camera angle apparently, so we're going to be stuck with it. You got to love it. High snap. Jackson tries to take off, falls forward, and he might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Brings up third down and seven. Three, 
Watson in the shotgun. Five wide receivers. And he's going to be pressured and sacked. Javon Stewart on the sack. No, it wasn't. It was the linebacker. Could have swore that was number 94, but number 54 comes through for the sack. And the Jackrabbits are going to punt the football away here to start the third quarter after a very nice return by Jamar Hicks on the kickoff to start the third. And George punts this one into the end zone. Coverage couldn't quite get there in time. Let's see what the Cadets can do on offense. They can extend this lead a little bit. Two tight ends set, and they will go triple option. Hops dropped for a loss of one on the play by Holland, the slot or the nickel cornerback. Brings up second down and 11 for the Cadets. And they'll go triple option again. Hops. He should have pitched it. Instead, he picks up maybe four yards. And they keep it on the ground. And here is Cam Sanders in the open field up to the 40-yard line. Great run for him. He's up to 70 yards today. Hops at 95. Sanders 11 yards away from 700 on the season. Hops play action over the middle. That's Jake Berry. And Jake Berry is inside the 10-yard line. Huge reception for the big tight end. And the Cadets are in business. Jamar Hicks, the man that finally tracked him down at about the 9-yard line. And they actually mark him down just before the 10. So they still have another chance at another first down here. And they'll hand it off to Darius Johnson. He picks up a couple yards to about the eight and a half. Second down and nine, Jake Berry on fire at the bottom of the screen. Hops will try to throw it to Barry. No, it's Cam Sanders for the touchdown catch. And the Cadets take a two-score lead over the Jackrabbits of South Dakota State. And he is just wide open, streaking across the middle of the field. I believe that is Justin Hops' 40th touchdown pass of his career. 22nd this season. Extra point from Shaw is up and good. It is 28-17 after that six-play 80-yard drive. Took a minute 49 off the clock. Shaw on for the kickoff. See how far he can boot it. And a very good kick. About four yards deep in the end zone. Daly Redding dropped at the 15. So great special teams play right there.
Tate Redding in the shotgun with Daly to his left. And a throw it over the middle, deflected away. That was intended for Daly Redding. And Tate having a rough game here. Again, I'm not sure why he's getting so much playing time right now. <laughs> that could be costing the Jackrabbits. Redding still in there at quarterback. And he'll keep throwing it. Quick pass, incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Brahms North. That was not even close. That'll bring up third down and 10. Now Tremaine Watson coming into a tough spot here. They're two of five on third downs in this game. Watson off his back foot, incomplete. A very quick three and out for the Jackrabbits. George on for another punt here for South Dakota State. And kicks it from his own four yard line. All the way to the 30 yard line of VMI and Shields gets a pretty decent return and sets his team up at the 40 yard line. Tate Redding is the quarterback, Tyler. Daly Redding is the running back. Tate Redding is the younger brother of Daly. Hops under center for the Cadets. And they'll go option. Nice spin move by Hops. My goodness. Five or six yard carry right there for the quarterback. My formation now, Ladarius Johnson behind Matt Keller. And they'll keep him on the ground here. Another option. Hops picks up the first down. He's over 100 yards rushing today on 11 carries with one touchdown. At the South Dakota State 46-yard line. Great field position. They're going to keep going with the option. Hops, pitches it out. Johnson runs a man over, and he's inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line. Big-time run by the five-star freshman halfback. And, oh, man, showing, showing some strength on that one. A 20-yard run for Johnson. Cam Sanders now behind Hops. Two tight ends set. And Hops goes with the option again this time. Hands it off to Cam Sanders up the middle. He'll pick up nine yards. Shout out to Real Savage Productions in the chat. You miss the mouthpieces in football games? Yeah, man, me too. I mean, I don't really miss them a whole lot because, I mean, this is all I play. These old PS2 football games, so... I don't know what the deal is with EA Sports lately. But they need to get it together. Option again. Matt Keller up the middle untouched for the score. Oh, boy. Looked like he was shot out of a cannon right there. BMI cruising here in the third quarter. About to be up by 18 points. In front of the home crowd. Kick is up and good from Shaw. It is 35-17. That was a very explosive run by the fullback that we just witnessed. It's also Keller's first touchdown run of the season. You gotta love it. Defense is shaky. Yeah, yeah, it sure is, buddy. <laughs> Just a little bit. I mean, South Dakota State, they've only got four players on defense, really. So it's it's been a rough season for them on defense. 115th in the nation. 
and their ground defense has been pretty much non-existent all year. They allowed a 500-yard rusher against Navy. It was rough. First down and 10, Lamar Jackson in at quarterback now. And he will try to throw it. Jackson pressured, and he's almost intercepted. That was intended for the freshman tight end, Dayton Down. Did Jay Balmer get the ball yet? I do not know. After the stream froze the first time, I, I just took a little break from the <laughs> from this stream. and I missed about a quarter and a half in the first half. Jackson in the shotgun again. And he's going to hand this off to Chad Collins. Freshman halfback picks up five yards. Brings up third down and five now for South Dakota State. And Lamar Jackson is still in at quarterback. Watch out for a run from him. Jackson rolling around, throws off his back foot, and it's picked off and inside the 20-yard line down to the 17. And that's Travis Phillips. That was way too easy. I don't know why he threw it way across his body like that, across the field. Feels bad. BMI about to roll right now. Less than a minute left here in the third quarter. And they could potentially go up four scores. The right tackle got bullied. Yeah, he sure did. Here's Hops on the option. Pitches it out. And Sanders picks up five yards to the 11. He's up to 85 yards now today. Gets him over 700 rushing yards for the season. And over 2,300 for his career. Pretty solid numbers. High formation set here for the Cadets. Ranked number eight in the nation. Hops pitches this out, and Sanders is in for the touchdown. Too easy. Mason Smith doing all he could to bring Hops down. There was just nobody else on the outside to stop the running back. BMI opening it up now. About to go up by 25 points. Shaw on for the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. 42-17 here in the third. And the heavily favored Kidets are having no issue with the Jackrabbits. South Dakota State, 3-1 all-time in games against other subscriber teams. VMI, 2-3 all-time in such games. And the kick is 9 yards deep in the end zone. Hicks is going to kneel that one down. Touchback will start off at their own 20-yard line. Looking for a big play. And Tate Redding in there, quarterback again. His brother Daly right next to him in the shotgun. And they will go play action. Redding, deep shot down the middle of the field. Can't connect with Reinhard Erwandowski. That would have been a huge play. VMI showing them they aren't a joke. That is... <laughs> That is so true. VMI, one of the best defenses in the nation. Their offense has improved drastically from last season. And they are trying to get themselves in the national championship game. And here's Jackson trying to take off. He's going to be sacked. Dixon, his second sack of the season. Non-subscriber linebacker. And get your fours up in the chat, folks. That's the end of the third quarter. VMI on top, 42-17 here at home. Jacks, two of seven on third downs in this ball game. Jackson 
to throw, chucks it deep downfield, and it's caught by Jack Marks inside the 35-yard line. And he beats Phillips on the go route. Great catch by the sophomore receiver. Gets them all the way to the 33-yard line. And the Jackrabbits are in business. Watson to throw. Watson right side deflected away. Mike Adams almost had it. Great play by the strong safety. Brings up second down and 10. And Tate Redding back in there at quarterback. His brother to his left. And he'll try to throw it. Tate deep to the right side. Incomplete. Intended for freshman tight end, Dayton down. Pass was just a bit overthrown. That brings up third down and ten now. Jackrabbits three of eight. They just converted a long one to Jack Marks way downfield. See if they got another one in them. Redding towards the end zone. Caught! And it's Jack Marks again. Tate Redding gets his first career touchdown pass. And that was a beauty. What a throw. One-on-one -on -one coverage, Jack Marks versus Mike Adams. He's going to win that nine out of ten times. And the Jackrabbits close the gap just a little bit. About to be 42-24. And the kick is up and good. 42-24 is the score. South Dakota State down 18 points with 5.30 left in the ball game. Crazier things have happened. Do the Jackrabbits have enough fight left in them? Turner on for the kickoff. And they went for the onside kick for some reason. Already recovered by Jake Barry, the tight end. And VMI in great field position. I don't know about that call, folks. Kind of bizarre. Hops coming out in the shotgun set for the Cadets. And he'll try to throw it. And instead he's going to take off. And Frank Theory chases him down. Hops with a 5.5 yard average running the football. Over 1,600 yards. He's a menace. That run brings up second down in 13 now. Single back set. Cam Sanders in the backfield. Hops to throw it again. Deep shot towards the end zone. And it's caught by Joseph Martin. But there is a flag for holding, and it's going to come back. How many teams did you create, Tyler? Did you make a full league? With that penalty, that brings up second down and 13 now. That was a huge play to take away from the Cadets. Hops out of the shotgun. He'll try to throw it again. Quick pass. Jake Barry has the ball to the 49-yard line. That brings up third down and 14. Big play here for VMI. And he'll try to throw it again. Hops. Tries to take off instead. He's dropped after a one-yard scamper. And South Dakota State gets a big stop. Shaw on for the punt. And there's a flag for offsides. My goodness. Brings up fourth down and eight now. 
the ball boy and head coach Jim Langer getting a little too comfortable on the sideline right there. Jackrabbit's going with the safe return. Shaw boots this one towards the end zone, and it goes through the back of the end zone. So the Jackrabbits start this drive at their own 20-yard line. They've got three timeouts left. And, you know, you can never count them out. They have a great offense. Jermaine Watson under center. Five wide receivers. Crowd getting behind their team. Browns North can't hear the play. Watson. The throw, and that hits the dirt. Not a good play. North yelling at his freshman quarterback now. Not a good look for the Jackrabbits on the field. A lot of miscommunication there. With the loud crowd. Now Tate Redding takes the field, that quarterback, for the Jacks. Just threw his first touchdown pass of his career last drive. Three receivers to the bottom of the screen. Redding will try to throw again over to the right side, and it's dropped. And that was Dayton down. Dropping the ball. Nice, Tyler. 32 teams. That is a lot of work, man. Third down and 10. Redding to throw. Deep shot. Right side. It's caught again by Jack Marks inside the 35-yard line. Just get that man the ball. Almost 200 receiving yards here today. Mike Adams cannot cover him one-on-one. -on -one. No shot. Marks came into the game with just 17 catches on the year. He now has 25. And over 500, uh, actually over 600 receiving yards. Now there's Brahms North. He gets an 8-yard reception. Watson has his first completion of the game. I'm not sure what is going on with his quarterbacks right now. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Brings up second down and two. And Tate Redding. Comes back in at quarterback. Redding to throw. Towards the right side. Deflected away. Intended for Dayton down. He's having a really hard time connecting with his fellow freshman. Jack Rabbit's 5 of 10 today on third downs. Watson back in at quarterback. Under center. Daly Redding is on fire in the backfield. And they'll throw it. Watson pressured and sacked back at the 30-yard line. Mike Adams, the strong safety, gets in there. A couple defensive backs got back there. Let's we'll see if they'll go for a field goal here. Looks like they're going to go for it. On fourth and six. No time like the present. Watson to throw, and that is incomplete. Intended for Jack Marks. And that's that's basically going to be enough <laughs> to put this thing away. All the cadets got to do is run the clock out now and walk out of here with another conference victory here in Big 12 action. Darius Johnson goes nowhere. Frank Theory on the tackle. He's got five today and a sack. Brings up second down and ten for the eighth-ranked Cadets. We're going to be moving to nine and one on the season. Three and three all-time for subscriber opponents. South Dakota State falls to 7-4. and four. Here's a big-time run for Matt Keller, the fullback. South Dakota State 7-4 and four on the year now with this loss. And they will drop to 3-2 and two all time versus subscriber opponents. How long did it take to create all the EFL teams? Well, I spent at least two days 
on each team. So it was it was over a month for sure. Hops, hands it off. Johnson escapes. And Ladarius Johnson's gonna take this all the way. You gotta be kidding me. High stepping. Looking like Neon Dion Primetime Sanders out here. 59-yard touchdown run for the freshman. Oh, this wasn't even fair. The entire defensive line got blown up for South Dakota State. Shout out to Lorenzo Dawkins in the chat. New name I haven't seen before. Appreciate you stopping by. I may have seen you before, but I don't know. My memory's terrible. 49-24 is the score here in the fourth quarter. A minute 24 left on the clock. Evan Shaw on for the kickoff. And another nice kickoff here as Hicks downs it in the end zone. And let's see what the Jackrabbits can do with uh, 80 yards to go to the end zone. A few timeouts. And a freshman quarterback in there. Redding to throw and another pass. Deflected away. That was intended for Reinhard Rundowski. Reading now 7 of 18 today. I'm still not sure why they're using literally all four quarterbacks on the roster in this game. Hops, player of the game for VMI. Jack Marks, player of the game for South Dakota State. Jackson to throw now. And he finds his man. That is... Mason Smith, the halfback slash linebacker, making the reception. First of the season for him. Jackson, quick pass left side, has his man that's daily Redding in the open field, breaking tackles up to the 49-yard line with less than a minute left on the clock, and daily Redding is taunting and his team is down by 25. You gotta love that. Lamar Jackson in at quarterback. Mason Smith to his right. And they will try to pass it here. And that is almost picked off. Not a good pass. Overthrown by quite a bit. Stay tuned after this stream, folks. We're going to be having number four, Savannah State, at number three, William and Mary, in an ACC showdown. One of the biggest games in this series' history. Second down and ten. Watson to throw now. And that pass is caught by Jacob Coleman. Picks up a yard on the play. Both teams 50% today on third down. Watson with five receivers. Watson hit as he throws, finds Dayton down. And he's only going to pick up a couple yards on the play. That brings up fourth down and seven now. And I mean, they got to go for it. And they're actually going to punt the football. So the Jackrabbits have given up. They have thrown in the towel. This game is donezo. And George boots it away. Fair catch, signal, and that bounces through the back of the end zone. Just expect a couple runs here from the Cadets. Right. 
Appreciate all you guys stopping by. If you haven't already, please slap that like button for me. Subscribe if you are new. Because the channel's only going to get better. And Hop's going to kneel it down now. And I have to do so one more time. Actually gonna go I formation here. Frank Theory and Jake Barry on fire. And there's Matt Keller in the open field. He's gonna pick up 10 yards. And that is it, folks. Like I said before, though, stay tuned. About 10 minutes after I end the stream, we're gonna be having number four Savannah State at number three William and Mary. The ACC on the line. Let's just check these stats out. Let's get it. We don't need to see the celebration. VMI, 445 yards of offense today. 342 on the ground. Goodness gracious. South Dakota State, 325 passing. Sacked six times. Three turnovers, two picks, one fumble lost. Boy, oh boy. It was, it was a rough game for South Dakota State. Wasn't too bad in the first half, but once that third quarter came out, man... I mean, VMI couldn't do anything wrong. And luckily, the stream did not freeze again. All right, individual stats. Haas, 5 of 1,203 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. He had 105 yards on the ground. Sanders had 96, Johnson 95, Keller with 46. Everybody had at least one touchdown and no fumbles. Jake Barry with a touchdown catch, and Cam Sanders had one as well. And let me see here. Sanders, that is his second touchdown catch of the season, and Jake Barry with 11 now. A couple drops. Defense, Travis Phillips led the team in tackles uh, with nine. Mike Adams had six. Henry Hamilton with two tackles for loss and a sack. Dixon had two sacks. Stewart had a sack. And Javon Stewart, the freshman, now has seven sacks for the Kidets. <laughs> You're going to watch the next game in bed because you gotta, you got to go to the gym at 4 a.m.? You're crazy, man. 4 a.m. My goodness. At 4 a.m., I would probably be asleep for maybe an hour, if I'm lucky. For fumble for Stewart as well. Let's see. He had some earlier in the season. Yep, that's actually his second forced fumble of the year. Shields had the recovery. That's the first fumble recovery in his career. And nothing crazy on returns for VMI. And South Dakota State attempted passes with everybody. It's so bizarre. I don't know why. Because Tremaine Watson is the starter. And he only attempted nine passes here today. But what, whatever. Alright? Whatever. And no running game to speak of here for the Jacks. Man, oh man. Goins had a touchdown, though. Nobody else had a touchdown, though? Nope. That's upsetting. Jack Marks. Balled out today. And Reinhard Ermondowski, one catch, 60 yards, and a touchdown. Ermondowski now with 12 touchdown catches on the season. Jack Marks with five. Dayton down two drops today. Launch of tackles for a loss for Frank Theory. Four and a sack. Mason Smith with a tackle for a loss in his return from injury. Sack for Frank Theory, no picks. A few deflections, no forced fumbles, anything like that. And a 57-yard kick return for Jamar Hicks, and that is it. Like I said, stay tuned after this stream. About 10 minutes after I end it, we will be having game number two of our doubleheader, number four Savannah State, number three William and Mary duking it out in ACC play. 
There it is. There's the preview right there. Seven and two Tigers versus the eight and one William and Mary Tribe. I will see you guys in about ten minutes with that one. Till then, take it easy.